All right, guys, thanks for joining. We are testing every single mask on Amazon. And today, for the first time ever, actually the third time, we are testing the Black Dis Bosable masks. I'm not really sure where they were going with that, but I think there's a joke in there somewhere. Disposable, I don't, I, I just don't understand that. Um, this is the third time we've tested this same box. Fashion face covering for home, office, outdoor, but don't you dare wear it to the movies. And the third different brand. This is very common on Amazon. You will have one manufacturer and then different brands that will sell it. This one is from the brand Mascot King. At least that sounds like a brand. So I gotta give them that one. And let's see if it's working for them. Uh, we're gonna test this bad boy today with a PFE machine. That's particulate filtration efficiency machine. Uh, this setup costs about $100,000. If you wanna learn more about it, I'm gonna put a link below that explains the particulars of it. Horacio, help me get this test. Now Horacio's here because he paid for all of this. And so he wanted to be sh sure that we weren't wasting his money. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get it started. Um, so I've said this um, broken record now. I'm sure Rossi is having a great time uh, listening to this because it's the same thing three times. What I don't love about the packaging uh, of this particular one, it's got holes in it and it's really thin um, and it's just not very sanitary. I'm gonna use our example one more time. Can you throw me that uh, one package again? Um, uh, in our packages, we use uh, food grade uh, uh, plastic to seal our mask because it's very important that to me it's like this is a sanitary thing i don't want it if you're putting it on your face i don't want there to be any contaminants and then also like there's a smell issue so the first two of this exact same mask we've tested before uh had uh kind of a smell on it and so we're going to test this one uh i said this before but the construction at least on the other two were insane oh all right uh let's test it again okay that was a fluke. That one ear loop was, was just, it wasn't a great ear. Okay, these are good. The construction on these are insane. The, the way this feels, it actually said on the box, I made fun of it at first, it said, unique elastic material, reduce ear pain and bruises. Because <laughs> I get bruises all the time from wearing masks. But it actually is really good ear loop material. Um, so the reason I don't love a lot of these is because that hole in the packaging it allows, it allows smells to get in. And I'm gonna have you try this again. You let me know if, this one is not as bad, I don't think. The other one I, I joked, I said it was almost like I went to a gas station and spilled gas all over my shoes and the rest of the day I'm smelling that gas. This isn't great, but it's not as bad as the other ones. I, oh, I definitely smell it. It's not a great smell, but the construction of these are amazing. Now, what's interesting is the first two that we tested, the first one was 80% and the next one was 90%. And those claim to be made on the, if you look at the quality certificate, they claim to be manufactured on the same day. China is usually really, really good with their quality assurance. So, and in fact, if this got out in China, I guarantee you this factory would be in trouble because like that sort of sways should not be possible, especially on the same day. They claim on the box to have 95% bacterial filtration. This is a different machine. We're testing particulate filtration. It's more accurate. It tests down to 0.1 microns. Um, but what are the results? Does it protect you? What do you think? I'm gonna go halfway, 85%. Ding, ding, ding! 86.61%. <laughs> now, in the United States, the minimum standard for uh, a protective mask is 95%, okay? Uh, and that's not just an N95, that's any surgical mask. If you see the word surgical on the box, the minimum that it's gonna have is a 95%. Our mask tests at 98%, which is the, the top, uh, it's an ASTM level three mask. So if you're looking for a mask that's gonna protect you, personally, I would go with an ASTM level three. All right, thanks again for watching. It would help us a lot if you found anything useful about this, even if uh, like a joke that Horacio made was funny, uh, if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And stick with us. We've got about 5,000 more masks we need to test because we bought all the masks on Amazon. Thanks very much.